guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Asad and this is a channel all about cinematography, photography and stuff of that nature. So if this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing because we come up with videos every week. So really want to thank you guys for giving me a good response on the last week's tutorial around creative masking techniques. If you're new here and you haven't watched that video, I will put the link here somewhere. So do check it out. And today's tutorial is going to be all about how we can create cinematic titles to make your videos look more professional. I gave an example in the beginning of the video and we'll show you how to create that in Premiere Pro. And then also at the end of the video, I'll you know help you create a preset which you can use as a drop in plugin every time you basically come up with a tutorial or anything or any kind of video, you can just drop that title and adjust it to your needs. So without further ado, let's jump into Premiere and let's start creating these titles for today. First thing you would need to do is like uh, in the graphics panel, select the text toolbox and type in anything that you want. I'm typing cinematic in this case. That will be our main title and then you can adjust the uh, fonts or like, you know, properties from here on the right side. I'm going with a bold look and I'm going to select this Navigo font as you see and I'm going to center this and I'm going to align it as well. You have option to vertically and horizontally align. So I'm going to align this as well. Okay. And then I'm also going to increase the spacing between the letters. Again, you can play with these properties here and you can adjust the size of your text from these settings as looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to add another text box and we're going to put some subtitles here. So let's say a uh, drone film. And we'll pretty much adjust the properties again, just like we did for our main title in this case I'm gonna select the thin font not a bold one because we're gonna go for the subtitle we're gonna align it using the same option and center it I'm also gonna adjust the height I don't like where it is so I'm just gonna move it a little bit higher I think it looks good around here so we will keep it right here next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the effects and in the effects panel we're gonna type in blur and look for Gaussian blur once you find that drop it on your footage go to effects control panel and we're gonna create a keyframe on the blurriness after you know moving the playhead 15 20 frames forward and we'll also do that on the opposite side of this clip as well and then we'll bring the playhead to all the way to start and we are gonna put a value of 100 at the keyframe so what this is gonna do is gonna make the clip go from 100 percent blurriness into zero and then in the middle where you don't have the keyframe it's gonna show you the clean title and when it's gonna fade away towards the end it's gonna go uh, into the blurry mode again so that's what we're gonna do by creating these keyframes so let me put value of 100 here and i'll do the same thing towards the end as well okay let me play that see how it's looking you can see that you know it's giving that perfect effect and it's fading away at the end and next thing we're gonna do is gonna go to opacity and create some keyframes so you know first frame that we're gonna create uh, is gonna be at 0% or 0 and then go to the second one create a keyframe at 100% opacity and then we're gonna create a third keyframe again at 100% value and the last one is gonna be at 0% value so let's play back and see how it's looking you guys you're almost getting there the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some keyframes on the scale setting. So I will add a value of 85 for the first keyframe, which is gonna be at the very start of the clip. And then we'll add like around 110 to the end of the clip. This is gonna basically help the clip to, or like the text to come in as uh, zooming in or coming towards you when you apply this so i'm gonna give you a practical example of this i'm gonna apply this 
on top of a drone clip that I shot a few days back. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. So let me show you how to create a preset for this as well. So right click on the title that you created and export that as motion graphics. Uh, it'll give you an option to save it. I'll save it on my desktop just for the sake of this tutorial. And I'll hit OK. So using the small window icon at the very bottom of the screen, you can export the title that you created as a preset and it will show up in your graphics panel and you can just drag it on any of your footage. So guys, if you've learned anything of value from today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel as I make these videos every week for you and break, you know, Premiere Pro work, uh, workflow in the easiest way possible. Again, I am learning myself and I'm just passing the knowledge on to you guys. So if these videos are helpful for you guys, please consider subscribing and sharing these uh, with other people who are interested in this kind of content and I'll keep on making these videos for you guys. On that note, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial.